Royal Club for their outstanding support. We've got about eight staff members here to uh, CEO Gary Burke and staff. Can I say publicly that uh, the club could easily just worry about the now and the present and, and, and how it's all going uh, with the current day players. They uh, go out of their way to help the past players and it's an absolute pleasure to deal with me and the Collingwood Football Club. They really respect their heritage and uh, I think you should be very proud of them. You know, it's good to be back, you know, with the past players always in these days, and it's great to, I was with Mick Irwin and uh, Scotty Palm, it's good to see Scotty here, and uh, down at Serena last week I told them how good I was, and today I'll meet it better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're catching up with Paul Tudnam at the uh, past players Collingwood luncheon today, and uh, Paul, there'll be a few blokes around here that you uh, wouldn't have seen for a long time. Yeah, no, I catch up with a few of the players from my era, you know, Killer Manson's always uh, a bit of a laugh. Uh, obviously, my dad's era, so I've got a bit of a connection there. So I see, I see them at the, uh, you know, a few games and, you know, a few after match functions, all that sort of thing. So it's um, always a, always a great day. So you're still going along to the games, and uh, just out of curiosity, from your era when you played, when you played to today. What would you say are the things that you probably miss from your era and maybe a few things that they've added to the game now that you appreciate? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, no, I take, uh, I take the four kids along as often as I can. So they're, uh, you know, they've got black and white blood in the veins, you know, from the now into the third generation. So it's always a great thing to do. As far as, uh, you know, what's changed, um, I actually think most of the changes are for the better, to be honest. I think the facilities, the grounds, are uh, you know just amazing compared to uh, you know our day. That's right. Uh, so that's I think to go to the football and watch is now I think it's a much better experience than what it was. You know you lose that Victoria Park feel you know down near the scoreboard, Absolutely. but um, so that's probably a negative. Uh, and I think the I think the games the game itself is faster and cleaner and, and better. So with the kids, you take them along, what, try to take them along as often as possible. You've got boys and girls, or all boys, or uh, what did you end up with? We snuck a boy in last for the, of the four, so the three girls. Um, they're, all, uh, they're all pretty sporty and they all, they all love going, so it's, um, it's, it's a great thing to do as a family, as I said, with the facilities and whatever else. It's, um, it's a good day out. OK, now a question you probably get asked all the time, and I, you know, I, do, I, I get asked it all the time. During your, you know, your reign and when you were playing, some of the better opponents you probably played on, and do you get to catch up with anyone from opposition teams? Have you made some friendships through the year, you know, over the years of other teams? Yeah, no, that's a good question as well. Um, yeah, I, I, um, uh, I, I played on Michael Tuck once actually, and I, I went out and stood next to him. And I've gone, I've got this bloke covered. You know, he was he was nearing the end of his career, and he doesn't player. didn't look much, and you know, like when you're standing next to him, but uh, he tailed me up. He's just hard. Everything you touch about him is hard, and um, and you know he was pretty fit. I ran off him a couple of times, so that was. I always remember that. You know, you don't want to admit that, you, that too many players of your age and era were better than you. That's right. Yes, <laughs> no, don't do that too often. No, a but brilliant um, player, Michael. Tucker. Yeah, he was. So, and obviously playing, you know, over 400 games, he was doing something right. Um, and uh, what about with Collingwood? Is there a few players that you wouldn't go out? on the ground without, and a couple of guys you'd love to take with you every game, you know, yeah, alongside you? Or? I think Dakes is always a great story to tell. I remember playing on, playing on him in a practice match at Collingwood. He wasn't that interested and I was, um, so I did all right. Uh, but then <laughs> I think the next week we played Carlton at, uh, at VFL Park and I had a really good game. I kicked two goals. Uh, and he, I think he kicked seven yeah, just and an just did it, on, did it on his ear. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. Unreal catching up with you. Have no a great worries. night in there or afternoon and uh, good luck with everything. With I'm the kids. sure we will. Thanks for your time. I Beautiful. appreciate it.